Our next guest has dedicated her entire life to studying the field of science, and recently she made the decision to change her career path and dedicate her time to teaching everyone about the human anatomy. Please welcome back our four-year-old expert, Brielle, and her mom, Carrie. Four years old now. You're, it was your birthday last time I saw yeah. you, right? Yes, it was. What did you get? I, I got a name called Scrabble. Uh, Scrabble? Oh, are you good at Scrabble? I'm still sounding out my words. Yes. <laughs> That's a wonderful gift to get Scrabble like that. And Valentine's Day, what'd you do for Valentine's Day? Took my Valentine's Day pictures and also went to Build a Bear. Went to Build a Bear. Build a Bear? Oh, did you build a bear? I, I put a sound and smell in my bay. She put a sound and smell in her bear. What kind of sound? A bark. A bark. So that it would bark like a dog? Yes. Aw, that's cute. It's a, a barking doggy bear. <laughs> so now you're learning about, you know everything about the periodic table, but now you've decided to learn about the human body. So I'm going to bring uh, Mr. Bones out, and we're going to go over here, and I'm going to ask you some questions. Because this is relatively new, right, Carrie? Yes. So how, uh, how long has Brielle been interested? This is Mr. Bones right here. Yes, that is Mr. Bones. I'm going to give you a pointer, Thank and I'm going to ask you. Thanks. There you go. This she is my knows. photo. All right, I'm going to ask you to show me where the clavicle is and tell me about the clavicle. This helps me reach it. Okay. It's bigger than me. Yes, it is bigger than you. Tell me about the clavicle. And it's bigger than my arm. It's the most tiny fractured bone in the whole human body. Most commonly fractured bone in the human body. Wow. Okay, where is the skull? And tell me about the skull. That's the skull. Yep, that's the a skull. the frontal and the parietal and the temporal and the occipital. <laughs> and the patella? It's right there. Okay, tell me about the patella. Babies are born without kneecaps. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it is crazy that babies are born without kneecaps. And when do they start getting kneecaps? They don't show up until they're two or six years old. Actually, babies are born with kneecaps, but they don't show up very well on x ray because they are not ossified, which means hard bone. <laughs> Okie dokie. And then, um, <laughs> sometimes I go home and feel good about myself, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> Scapula, show me that. It's behind Mr. O'Bones. Okay. Uh huh. And tell me about the scapula. It's a Latin word that means blade. It's a Latin word that means blade. And? Uh, yeah, so instead of the, yeah, so, so you can say blade. Instead of saying so the sapia, you can say so the blade. Yes, yes. And the sternum, show me the sternum. It's right here. Uh -huh. And it helps me touch the sternum. It protects several vital organs at the heart. <laughs> All right. You are so impressive. I think that you, this is amazing. I don't know what you're going to be learning next time you're here.